St. Joseph voters will decide on a $20 million bond issue tomorrow. And a couple of individuals who worked for years to help the district move forward weigh in on the importance of the bond. KQ2's Chris Fleck explains why they believe it is vital the bond passes. Is St. Joseph a community experiencing an identity crisis? John Hickman, a former St. Joseph resident, thinks so. Hickman tried to make positive changes to St. Joe's educational system, and finally, out of frustration, he and his wife Wendy walked away. In 2009, the vote yes measure to build a new school failed twice. Hickman engaged in a community group headed by Kevin Kirby that researched what St. Joseph needed to do to move forward. The whole purpose of PACT was to, to present the community with um, some of the best ideas in education and let the community to decide the next steps they wanted to take, and those steps were to build the two new schools. There was a, the, a scandal uh, with the stipends, and it derailed things. Yeah, positive growth in a very positive way. So we continued to work, um, be involved in the community, volunteered a lot, worked on various efforts and whatnot in the with the school district. And finally, when our son was in fourth grade, we got to a decision point that we had to decide where he was going to go to school for his education. So we moved to the Park Hill School District. Why did the Hickmans find that Park Hill was a better choice? The Park Hill School District is properly funded. They pay their teachers a very competitive wage. They're one of the best paid teachers in the, in the city. They attract the best teachers. And it's hard to get a job here in the Park Hill School District, unlike the St. Joe School District, which has a shortage of teachers. Having lived here... What's Hickman think St. Joe needs to do to move forward? Do like we did in the PAC plan, take a fresh look at everything, and develop the master facilities plan. And then, and this is the key point, leadership in the community, the chamber, the community alliance, and everyone else needs to stay focused on implementing that plan over the next 20 years. The community needs to decide what's important and how we give our kids the best education, and they need to vote the funding to make that happen. From my perspective, the key advantage that St. Joe has is being able to be a premier place, one of the best places in the region to raise kids. And if the community would focus on what needs to happen to make St. Joseph, Missouri the best place to raise kids, everything else will take care of itself. And, and they'll deal with how many high schools do we need? And what, are the, what do the middle schools need to look like? That, that, those all become non-issues once you decide what you want to be. And, and the problem is, is I think everybody's stuck in this mindset of fighting about the past. It's irrelevant. The community has to invest first. We can restart anytime we choose to. It's easy to restart and say, this is what we're going to do that's best for our kids. And I think right now is a good time for St. Joe to do that. This is the St. Joseph, Missouri School District, and it is time, it is well past time for St. Joseph, Missouri to step up and support its schools. I'm Chris Fleck reporting for KQ2. The duo believe the bond needs to pass to help move the district forward. We'll have the results from tomorrow's vote tomorrow on KQ2 News at 10. Up next on KQ2 News at 10,